Hey everyone, today we've been working on weaning the babies and instead of separating into a new area called Turkey, we've been doing something completely different and from for a few weeks now on the weekends and that is kind of accomplishing two things, trying to help with the weaning so it's not so cold turkey and the idea is that the baby goats have to learn that if they're hungry there are other things that they can eat in order to be full and they don't have to be nursing so it's about time to go in and uh, I wanted to show you what we've been doing as far as winning now there are you know that cold turkey method where you separate moms and kids but we got them little kitty collars and we are putting them on a tether now right now we're burning so we're we're still outside and we're still keeping an eye on them but the main purpose of having them tethered around each other is that they can see each other uh, without nursing for the, the most part of the day so they can little by little understand that they have to eat something in order to stay full if they have mom available 24 7 then they feel like it's okay to continue to just have their milk whenever they're hungry but 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 by tethering them they understand that they're hungry mom is right there but they can get to her so they better eat and it's been working really really good as far as keeping them uh, eating a variety of things so they can be ready for when they move to their new homes and they will be exposed to pasture it just helps them understand that there are other ways to fill their stomach without being mom by tethering them, which is the way that we chose to do this, they learn to eat things that maybe they're not used to. If you have them in a pen, only giving them hay and pellets and stuff. But if you are going to send your goats to a place where they're going to be on a pasture or they're going to have lots of things to forage, then kind of starting them since they're little and getting used to being tethered and stuff like that would definitely help. Now, of course, this is something that I read on a, a book, something that somebody else tried and worked for them. So because of that, I am giving it a try, but it's not definitely a recommendation or something that you should do. It's just something that I'm trying and that I will share my experience and show you the results as time passes. You see Mr. Cow so. right there behind that grass. <laughs> he's scratching himself and he's really close to Clara, but he can't really get to her. This is Mr. Black who loves to eat grass and weeds and he is such a good boy and then here's our girl Athene who is a handful she's the most rebellious goat we've ever had and that is something she really doesn't like to be tethered and she fights it for the first 30 minutes then once she gets used to it, she will start eating grass and um, kind of understanding that mom can be with her 24-7. Mr. Cow, you're such a cute boy. Mr. Cow, you're such a cute boy, Mr. Cow. And Clara is pretty much over it. When she is not with her kids, we let her off leash. And she just goes around and eat all the weeds and everything, like variety of things. She'll go for bigger weeds and then she'll go for smaller ones. Those that she's eating right now are her favorite. So she's just being a little uh, apprehensive about the idea of not being off leash. She's kind of fighting it and she knows that if she pulls, 
and the <laughs> look at this and she uh, puts the leash on top of her head she'll be able to get out of her collar now right now I put it <laughs> a little bit more tighter because I figured this is what she's doing um, but every time that she goes away the babies cry really a lot and she should be able to stay in one spot now you can see little Rocky there he's also tethered because the boys if the day is nice they go out they're not rough on the leashes or the colors and um, just for the most part eating greens and then I feed them hay and their bits of alfalfa that they get at night so that way it helps again with the feed and it helps uh, with them being exposed to a more more variety which is doing my research what goats need they need a variety in what they eat yesterday i went to a farm where i was going to go visit uh, they also have goats and I ended up with a terrible allergic reaction. You probably can see it in my forehead. I broke out in hives because they had two new cats and apparently I'm still allergic to some cats and I was extremely allergic to those two that were at the farm. So that's why my eyes are so little and I can't even open them properly and I have hives. Um, probably not be able to see them but um, they're they're much much better today so that's why the face I'm just today it's been a very busy day we've been burning we've been cleaning the area where we're going to build our house and a lot of things that I'm cleaning from that area I'm using in my garden so it's it's been a productive productive day now which one is it which tree are we killing I don't know. Oh, it's this tree. Ah, uh, that Stupid is it. I think it's dead already, that one. Or maybe. It's... Or is it that other tree? I don't know. That's Where's what we're trying to find out. <gasps> the depths of the roots. Oh, now we have to follow it. I think it's that one. Yeah, I think it is that one. It is that big one. Let's see. What if the tree falls on you? Oh, the tree for taking out a root? Yeah, he decides to kill you because you're killing him. Although I do think that tree is pretty much done. I don't think this is coming out. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I quit. What? I'm done. You can't quit. You have to keep trying. Stupid tree, look how big it is. I know. It's ginormous, but I think it's dead. If you look up there, all those limbs are completely dead. They're dry and dead. But, you know, that's the raccoon's favorite tree. So, you know, we have to keep them. We cannot take it away from the raccoons. What do you think? Oh. Wait, who else? Are you still trying to kill a tree? Yep. I think he's winning. How is this not off? <laughs> oh my goodness. You can drink water if you want. Mm. Okay. You're a big boy now. You have to be a big boy now. You can't just be not you can't be a baby forever. I'm sorry. I know it'd be nice, but you have to be a big boy now, okay? You can nurse a little bit later, okay? Good boy. Good boy. And take water to rest. Mr. Black, would you like some water? Oh, that is very yummy water. 
they keep uh, messing with their water and so every 30 minutes or so since I'm right here outside I come and give them water and some will drink some won't but Mr. Black is one of those that really likes his water <laughs> Definitely still is my favorite. Yes, you're my favorite. Don't tell anybody. Huh? Even though that port is growing. I will still love you. Okay? Okay. You're okay. You miss your mom, huh? It's alright. You'll see her. For dinner, okay? We'll see your mama for dinner, love. Oh, the camera wasn't really on you. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna share the water with siblings. Okay, you want more? No? Okay. Come here, Athene. Come here, mama. Here, water for you. Come here. I think it's the one that is struggling the most with the idea. And she's the one that doesn't really need to be weaned. But since everyone is outside, she just needs to be with the rest. It's okay. I know. She's the one struggling to adjust. The rest, just get used to it. Mr. Cow, I was wondering if you wanted some water. Do you think you want? Oh, thank goodness. For water, right now? Thank goodness for water. And if I were to leave them, uh, if I had to go out, uh, number one, I would never leave them on a leash, not even a proper leash, and even less, I would leave them on a piece of twine. The only reason why I would keep them on a piece of twine is because I haven't gotten my actual leashes that I'm going to use for them since they're going to be pets. Um, so... I would definitely uh, just put them on those leashes to be safe. I don't, I don't think twine is the greatest idea, but I'm right there burning and keeping an eye on them. And you're just the sweetest little cow I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna take this to your mama, okay? You want some water, Clara? She really wanted some water. If I leave a bucket here, they drop in every five minutes. Uh, so, since I'm checking on them and I'm just. You're a good mama, Clara. Good, good mama. But you're a bad girlie. You want to go to places where you shouldn't. So, you can see. Folgers comes to the rescue so if you're new around here please remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos every week thank you so much for being here remember to give it a like if you enjoyed this videos and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys